the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Congrats, Brady. Spectacular performance in your BKFC debut in front of your home crowd in Montana here. How do you feel right now? Uh, I feel really awesome, man. Like, I'm just glad that this, my opponent took the fight on two weeks' notice. He had to cut down from 310 pounds. He wasn't able to make weight, but I don't care, man. I'm just here to fight. He had that dog in him, and we had when we lined up for the face-offs, man, you could see that desire to fight in his eyes, same as me, man. We just wanted to put on a good show, and I think we accomplished that here. Uh, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to come out and uh, uh, perform in front of all these great people. Looks like we have a packed house tonight. I couldn't be more happy with the energy in the crowd and the people that behind the scenes. So thank you guys already for, for all you've done for us fighters. He came at you with a real onslaught at the beginning. How did you deal with that mentally? Uh, mentally, I knew it was going to happen. It always happens when I fight bigger opponents like this. Um, but yet it's always a challenge for me to back up. I grew up not playing a lot of sports. So my, uh, my body awareness is not 100% where it needs to be. So backing up is, uh, it, it can be a little bit of a challenge for me sometimes. It's one thing I'm working on very hard. Um, I'm very happy with my performance and being able to defend myself against the strikes using my blocks. And I wish my head movement would have been a little bit better, but once again, another thing for me to work on in the future. Now, a huge crowd here in Montana, unbelievable. It gets bigger and bigger, the more often BKFC comes back here. Were there any nerves for you when you walked out? Not really, this is my 12th fight. Uh, I fought for fusion in completely packed houses, the same as here. Uh, it's not the crowds that get me, it's the waiting. Uh, I don't like being backstage, not having my hands wrapped. I get chomping and they'd be like, come on, man, where's it going, let's go, come on. You know, and it get, it get in my head and I can get overhyped and uh, get, my, get lost in my own thoughts. He almost had 40 pounds on you in there. Did you feel the weight difference? Uh, not particularly. Definitely with a few of the body shots, there was a lot more cushion behind it than when I'm sparring with a lot of guys at the gym. Uh, I'm currently the largest guy at my gym, so it's 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 always an interesting uh, 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 an interesting experience fighting someone who has a, a larger frame than myself. Um, he definitely had some power behind his strikes. He had his whole body weight behind him, and props to him, man. That's utilizing the tools you have available for your uh, for your success. And after his initial onslaught, did you then see the openings and took advantage? Yes. Uh, I wish I would have been a little bit more aggressive, a little bit longer. Uh, overall, I'm satisfied with my performance, but I could be better. I can always be better. Talk to us about your preparation. How do you prepare for a bare knuckle fight? For a bare knuckle fight, same as any other fight. Gym time, gym time, gym time. I work 40 hours a week in a high demand kitchen uh, and I'm training for another 20 to 25 hours on top of it. If you think not having time is gonna get in my way, you don't know me. I know hard work, this is how we get to the top, baby. Let's go! Talk to us about the biggest difference between MMA fighting and bare knuckle fighting. The biggest difference is I don't have to worry about getting taken down and that frees up a lot of brain power to just focus on the task at hand, which I, I appreciate. MMA is still my main game, and I'm excited to show you guys what I can do on a professional playing field as well. Talk to us about the fighting tradition here in Montana, right? There is something special about the Montana fighters. There, there is, man. These guys, they live in a very isolated community. I mean, it fit, Great Falls is a decent-sized town, but there's not a whole lot here in Montana. Same as Wyoming, where I'm from here. So you develop a very tight-knit community, and you just, you know everybody. You train hard. You know, uh, Belgian draft horses can only pull about 16,000 pounds alone. You put a pair of them together, you think, oh, they're only gonna be able to pull 32,000. Wrong, they pull 42 because they're overexerting themselves, trying to be better than the guy they know, right next to them. That's the mentality we have here. That's the mentality these small towns bring. Come and get us. What's next for you, Brady? You want to call out anybody? Uh, no, sir. I'm just thankful for the opportunity to be able to work here on this big show. Uh, this is my opportunity for you to get to know me as a person, not who I want to fight. Uh, I'm open to all opportunities. Uh, I don't make my own fights or my arrangements. I do all that through my coach and manager, Joe Riggs. Is there any sponsors, family you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank my mom and dad for listening to me bitch incessantly about how bad my joints hurt, how exhausted I am. Everybody who's hurt, helped work with me, my assistant manager Shane for always scheduling me to make to make sure I can make my practices on time. 
Everybody at the gym, Diesel's Counterpunch, represent! Uh, and everybody who's been in my corner, I know I'm missing a lot of people here, but adrenaline's running high and this gentleman's got things to do. I'm Brady Meister with Bare Knuckle News and no one beats us to the punch.